so now here we see the programming errors so as you can see the programming errors are broadly categorized into three types one is syntax error then we have runtime and the third one is logic error so if you see the syntax error is very simple one and is very common error normally we used to do of while writing this coding now suppose in case here you know that uh, we have to put a hash to just give a comment suppose you forget to put your hash and uh, you run this pycharm command now straight away you can see it's give you the syntax error and the beauty of this pycharm that it it will uh, show you the the where the error actually occurs so now here in this case you can see in this screen that it shows the red color underline that you have something or you have not obey the python programming okay so what what i have to do you have to put the hash now suppose while printing you forget to complete with the double colon again it show you uh, this uh, red line but suppose you ignore it and you run this script then you again you can see it's a syntax error so i'm just showing the in what way you get the syntax error suppose you forget to give the complete the parenthesis if you run again you get this syntax error so all you have to do is to just go and complete this uh, double colon uh, sorry this uh, parenthesis so in this case you forget this and if you run again you get the syntax error so these are the very common and this is very easy to identify also okay so the next one is your runtime error now see runtime error is occur when the python interpreter detect an operation that is impossible to carry now with this case you can see I just put it hash over here so it won't in this case if you run this see what happen you get the output 3 because 15 divided by 5 what if you put it 0 it give you definite error logic wise because you, you can't divide anything with zero it will be infinite so this is what your can say run time error okay so it, this is also very easy to identify because it straight away will give you where actually the error occurs okay so you have to make it correct suppose i want still retain that 5 so i'll get the output 3 okay so now next one is a logic error now logic error is something is is not easy to identify because what happened with the logic error you won't get your desired output so so uh, while performing the task you won't get any error error from the system or error from the python programming but what happened your output won't come as a desire now in this case it's a uh, now i take an example where i am converting my fahrenheit into celsius now here i have to convert this 35 fahrenheit into celsius so what i have to do this is a simple formula we have but what if while writing you forget this parenthesis over here so instead of getting 1.66 centigrade you get your reply or output minus 12.5 which we know that is not correct so but even though you not got any uh, uh, this notification from the pro python program that you had made this mistake so so you can see over here it give you the that process finish with exit code 0 so the logic error is something which is very difficult to interact because it's, it's very simple so you know where you made the logically logic error but uh, it's very one of the difficult error to identify so just make sure that while coding you have to make sure that uh, you won't do such type of mistakes this about to like a syntax error and your runtime error easily to identify but your logic error it's really difficult and it it's really tough task to find it out okay guys so that's it in this okay take care raba rakha